What's up guys? Coming back at you with another test firing video. Got my FSC carbine all done, ready to go. Sterling engineering has got it looking really beautiful. Starting from the back, I got a two by 12 gram CO2 adapter. Sterling engineering printed butt stock. Got a one inch uh, Picatinny rail riser. This is the FSC top mount rail adapter and on the side I've got a five slot rail with a uh, uh, Daniel Sterling hooked me up with a couple of these CO2 holders he also printed me a uh, hand grip or hand guard got this uh, tack light green dot laser foregrip also have a red dot green dot sight different recticles loving it also get a bore sighter because that's the best way to sight in your weapons even if you have iron sights uh, you can really sight in your iron sights with a bore sighter um, 16 inch barrel um, from eBay those uh, three sets of barrels that, that you can buy from eBay um, they're actually uh, 686 bore smooth bore work fine and mag extender so I've been having some problems with these um, got them turned to high power I, I used to run them at um, two and a half to three turns for max um, and you know three three and a half turns for max even with jewels I was getting jams and um, the bolt was stuck forward into the breech and I was running this some uh, reliability issues so big shout out to Kurt from Grimberg <clears throat> he did some digging for me and sent some information back as far as uh, regulator pressure and relief valve adjustments. So I'm gonna, I've, I've done that. I've turned down the, uh, the regulator pressure. All, uh, down, I think I'm down to four and a half from max, uh, from max on my carbine, and I'm four turns from max on my FSC pistol with my. Olight Balder Mini. Just got that one in. Love it. All right. So, and then what he said was, uh, turn it to the desired uh, FPS or the desired pressure with the regulator, and then um, loosen the relief valve until you just hear under pressure. Loosen it until you just hear it uh, seeking out, leaking out, and then you tighten it just a little bit beyond that. That way, it have adequate. Uh, pressure to keep the amount of pressure you have in and also have some blowout to allow your bolt to fire back. So I've done some adjusting. I'm going to run a couple mags through this. Also going to run two mags through my FSC pistol. I use Tiberius T 8.1 mags. I, I use the red springs. Well, red spring is in here with my jewels because jewels tend to not jam uh, in the breech at all. But I've got HP 68s in this with the stock silver spring. So I'm gonna run these two mags, see what we get. I don't have a chrono yet. Chrono is very important to uh, see what you're shooting at. But I'll show you guys how this works. This is actually a Humorex two times 12 gram CO2 adapter. So it's got two 12 gram cartridges. One goes in this way. And the other one goes facing out. Screw this down. And it's got a piercing knob just like FSC and T8.1 magazines. So, got it all tight. Look at that grip, isn't that dope? Butt stock rather. All right. Pierce, you have to make sure you turn it in so that it pierces both the front and the back. Very nice, satisfying click. ASA adapter has its own on off. And that shot straight through the yoga mat.
that I've got in there to find a material that can stand. This is just swinging. It's just swings. I've had towels, I've had blankets. Got this old leather hood, and it's some really heavy duty leather. It's shot right through there. I've got this carpet, as you see, which is Swiss cheesed up. Two layers hanging in there. I, I need to find something that's going to stop these things because, golly, look at that. It just shot straight through there. Hold on, I'm going to rig something else up because... I don't want to blow through the back of my trap. Look, there's a nice big dent right there. All right, hold on, guys. All right, still got the white yoga mat under there, but just folded the towel. I know that's gonna get Swiss cheese too, but I gotta have something. All right, I'm actually trying to see how many shots I can actually get off with this with two CMTs with the velocity set where I have it at now. Four and a half turns for max. This is the second shot. Kind of sounds like it's running. I shot all 15. I'd have had about three or four low power shots. So I would say my two CO2s are still giving me one 15 round mag at good power. Look at this. I'm standing about 20 feet away, which isn't terribly far, but golly. Look at that. Yeah, I think, okay, the last layer of towel, I guess, stopped all of them. I guess four and a half turns with my FSC carbine is plenty. All right. Now on to my FSC. All right, red spring. Jewels, nice click. Not hearing any leaks. I had a leak earlier. That was two shots. Okay, just barely made it through that mag, but. I didn't have any jams, and my bolt didn't get stuck in the breech, which is good. Okay, now I've got my stock spring with HP68s, which is supposed to help the uh, HP68s jam less in the FSC. We shall see. Nice click. See what just happened there? Because I believe, no, nope, my bolt's not stuck in the chamber, but my HP just jammed in there. So let's see if I can get the rest of this mag through here. Well, I'm CO2. Looks like it's jewels for me. All right, so I turn my velocity down. I'm gonna get this chrono after I sell this uh, Karmatech barrel and uh, HP 68 uh, for the Karmatech set that I got out there on eBay. Plan on selling that. I'm gonna get a chrono so that way I can see what kind of uh, jewels I'm actually getting out of these things and then uh, tune them in a little bit better. But um, I had the FPS way too high. So I was getting a lot of the jams, a lot of the bolts being stuck forward, and so forth and so on. But 
Uh, looks like the HP 68s are going to be in my TA.1 because that rarely jams anything. Uh, it's it's just uh, bulletproof and it's rock solid every time. I can't say enough about that thing. Um, FSCs, a little bit more finicky, but with the uh, velocity turned down to where I have them now, I'm a lot happier with the results. I'm just going to be shooting jewels through them, which is fine by me. Uh, Grimberg makes a great product. Jewels are amazing. Uh, I've got a brand new bag of the... Uh, version 2 jewels coming can't wait to get those then I'll do some chronoing to see uh, what the jewel difference is in my uh, FSC carbine versus the pistol all right thanks a lot guys happy new year I'll holla at you